egg is yours. You get to have it every single day. Hello! You guys, I am so pumped about this. And I'm pounding my fist because it's super good. All right, you have things totally backwards, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Let's share how you do your goal stuff because uh, we're gonna we're gonna fix that today. Um, my name is Dr. Katie Henry. For those of you who don't know me, I am the queen of joy. I am a mindset and business coach, and I teach you guys how to connect to what brings you joy in your life, in your business, because life and business get to be fun. Not chasing a goal. Around this time of year, usually you're like, you're setting a goal, you're trying to achieve something and you're like, awesome, I want to do this in my life, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to get a promotion, I want to, if you have a business or you're starting a business, I want to earn $10,000 in the next month or two, I want to do this, 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 and this, and this, okay? Awesome, amazing, good, set goals. However, we're doing it backwards. And what do I mean when I say that? you're doing things backwards. You're like, no, I'm not. Like, how, how, how do you think I'm supposed to achieve a goal or anything if I, if I don't set something, you know? Like, how are things going to get done? Or any of you people that are more spiritual, like, how am I gonna manifest anything if I don't, like, decide what I wanna manifest? Well, there's a way to do it that actually works on a deeper level. And here's why. It's, it's not about the goal. It's not about achieving a goal that you want. It's about a feeling. It's achieving a feeling because we're not really driven by a goal. We're driven by a feeling that achieving a goal is going to bring us. And I was literally just talking about this with a client yesterday. She said to me, so Katie, I set a goal to achieve it in 10 years. I actually achieved it in six years. And I thought when I achieve this goal, I will feel this. Okay. Can you see that when you achieve something, you will feel X? And here's the thing, when you try to achieve a certain, if you're going for a goal and you're like, yes, once I do this, I will feel this, you go for a goal and you go for, oh my gosh, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, and then you get there and you achieve it and you're like, oh, that's it? And you feel like there's something missing. And the reason why there's something missing is because you haven't connected the feeling to it. You haven't connected the emotional part to it. And when I talk about a feeling, there's different things with this. So emotions are more in your head and you're like, oh, I feel this, I feel that, I feel this. But feelings, like feelings, deep, deep feelings are actually like in your body, you can feel them and you can connect to them. Like when you feel love, you feel warmth in your heart, whatever feeling love means for you. As human beings, we are striving for connection in some way, shape, or form. And when you connect to a feeling, it allows you to connect with yourself more and with others more. So when we're talking about goals, that's why I said we have everything backwards because we're going for these goals of like, check this off the list, do this, do that, do this, do that. You guys, I did this for years, years. Hi, I'm a recovering perfectionist. I'm super much an overachiever. I did all of those things. I know it. I understand it. I, I totally did. Really the driving factor for for me is what feelings do I want? How do I want to feel? And when you connect to those feelings, the achieving the goal part gets a lot easier. When manifesting, you connect to a feeling. So you get to do the same thing for goals. When you connect to the feelings and you look at all the different areas of your life, so you look at relationships, you look at your health and wellness, you look at your um, career and your impact, your job, your business, whatever, all of that. You look at your spirituality and your connection to something higher than you. And then you look at your relationships and that is personal relationships, um, love relationships, professional relationships, all of those types of things. You look at all of those areas of your life and you ask yourself, how do I want to feel? So you look at, okay, in this part of my life, I want to feel this way. In this part of my life, I want to feel this way. In this part of my life, I want to feel this way. And then you can identify those feelings and you connect to it. And what's really cool is that each of those feelings, sometimes they're the same in other areas and sometimes they're totally different and that's fine. But when you identify what those feelings are, 
and you connect to it and it has to be a word and a feeling that really clicks and that's what I teach in my workshop um, or as it actually used to be a workshop now it's a full-blown course um, goals with soul and aligned with joy which is um, up here above in the comments so when you connect to what those core desired feelings are and you feel that you embody it and you connect to it then you say okay I want to feel this this and this okay, how do I feel those feelings? And you do that each day and then you set up, okay, well, if I want to feel this, this is the goal I'm actually going to be going for. So what that means and how that works is the process of achieving a goal gets to be more enjoyable. It gets to be more fun. Hello, insert me and everything I'm about, right? You want it to be joyful. You want to enjoy the process. You want to enjoy the journey. So if you're driven by a feeling and you say, okay, I want to feel this way. So I'm going to do this, this, and this, and I'm going to connect to these feelings more and more and more every single day. Then before you know it, you're like, oh my gosh, I achieved that goal and I got the feeling. But you get the feeling first and then achieving the goal happens after. So the process gets to be easier. You actually achieve goals and you feel more fulfilled. And it's one of the most powerful transformations and shifts in your entire life. Okay, let's go back to Lauren's um, Lauren's goal because I want to use that example as something or her goal and how to flip that. And Lauren, your goal is to impact as many lives as possible through the I Am Journal, and you're trying to decide should you set hard numbers through that. Okay, so what I hear you say is to impact as many lives. So the feeling that you want is to feel impactful. So interesting you say that because that's one of my core desired feelings. Impact. Impact is something I'm really about. It's like, how can I reach more people? How can I, you know, impact more lives? And yes, it involves, you know, setting XXX goals, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Yes, that's, that involves like reaching certain income amounts. Yes, that involves showing up in a certain way, you know, doing a live stream like this, writing emails, doing blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, there are actions I, I get to take in order to achieve that goal. But the feeling that I want is impact. I want to impact lives. So the reason why is when you're driven by impact and you say, and this is, this is, this is like the crux of it all, you guys. Um, but there is a process to getting to these feelings and you can't just like pull impact out of the air and say, yeah, but Lauren, you connected to that. You felt it. You embodied the feeling impact. Yes. Like I always say, if you put your hands over your heart and you say the word and you get this warm, tingly feeling and sensation and you just say, yes, that is it. That is it. And the reaction that you got was like, yep, impact is it. So impact is definitely one of your core desired feelings. Um, and that probably would fall under the like business career kind of realm, right? So impact is what you want. So what you do in order to achieve a goal, you say, okay, I want to feel like I'm making an impact every single day. So you ask yourself each day and you can do this in your journal. Um, you ask yourself each day, okay, what do I get to do to feel more impactful today? And so what that might be is like, I know you love Instagram, posting something on Instagram or, you know, sharing a beautiful picture of your journal or doing blah, 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 blah. Okay. Awesome. You know, you know what you do. And then when you do that, you feel that like, oh my gosh, I impacted, I changed somebody's life. Like think of how how much it lights you up when somebody says, oh my gosh, your journal is amazing. I'm, I'm, I love this, this, and this, you know, and everyone who I'm, I'm giving Lauren's example as a specific example, but I take all of this and apply it to you and your life. Okay. So, so you know what that feels like, right? So that's the most important thing is to connect to that feeling. And you can ask yourself, what, what will bring me this feeling of impact every single day? And okay, now let's take it to the goal setting piece. So Lauren, the question for you is you can totally set a number. You can totally set a number, but I want that number to be driven by what number of journal sold or what number of followers on this or what number of blah, blah, blah will make me feel impactful but connect to the feeling of impact first. Take your Instagram following for whatever. Like in order to feel impactful, I want to have 100,000 followers on Instagram or whatever. 
And if you're like, oh my gosh, how do I do that? That's a huge number. I don't know. But when you say, okay, this is how I want to feel. This is the impact I want to make. I, I'm going to go for this goal. And it may sound crazy, but you're like, nope, that means I am making an impact. So pick that number. Or, or if that feels too big and you're like, I don't know, that's too arbitrary. Be like, I want to sell in January, I want to sell a thousand journals. That would make me feel like I impacted a thousand people's lives. And here's the thing about impact, which is why it's a really important word for me. Um, and, and actually for any of you guys who are coaches, who are mentors, who are teachers, who are writers, who are creators, who are parents, let's be real, all of us, like all of us impact other people's lives every single day. What impact is about is touching one person's life and knowing that by you impacting them in a positive way, they are going to then have this ripple effect that they are going to impact somebody else and then somebody else and then somebody else. So by you changing one person's life, you're actually changing hundreds of thousands of lives because you shift their perspective and it's going to then have them do something for somebody else and then somebody then to somebody else to somebody else. The way that I believe, the way that we change the world is by showing up more as ourselves and being more you how do I get to be more you my born for me I actually don't have to do anything I just have to show up and be me but the way that you create impact is by genuinely connecting to this feeling that you want to have showing up as yourself and then sharing that with somebody else and then they get to share it with somebody else and they get to share it with somebody else. And they may not even realize that it was you who started this whole thing. But when it comes to making change in the world, and if I'm not gonna get political or anything like that, but the way you make a change is by you, the Gandhi quote, one of my favorite quotes, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want a change to happen, you get to be it, embody it, and then inspire others to do the same. So impact, inspiration, huge words for me, huge core desire feelings. And I hope this is making sense to you guys. So you connect to the feeling first. That is the most important thing. And then once you identify what that word is, what that true core desired feeling is, you can't just pick a word out of the air. It has to mean something. It has to have a deeper meaning for you. When you connect to that deeper meaning, then you create a goal. So yeah, I'm not saying like throw goals out to the wayside and say like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna manifest blah, 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 blah. No, have goals, have dreams, have desires. That's something I do. I absolutely have goals, but they have a meaning and a feeling behind it. So you start with the feelings first, feeling first, then the goal, because that's how you actually get behind it. That's how you get aligned to it. That's how you manifest things in your life. If you want to talk manifestation, if you want to talk like getting things manifested and brought into the world fast, then connect to what you want and how you want to feel. And if you feel called to join the Goals with Soul program, I would love to have you. Um, like I said, you get instant access to the first four modules and then the rest are happening in January, but you will get a bonus workshop with me if you sign up before Sunday night, before the ball drops at midnight, um, New York time because that's where I'm in. I'm in Eastern time right now. So if you sign up before midnight, you are going to get a bonus workshop from me that is valued at $147. So the um, details and info are located right below this video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you can understand that in order to achieve the goals that you actually want, you get to start with the feeling and asking yourself, how do I want to feel? What are the feelings I desire? What are my core desired feelings? If you want to dive deeper, check out the course. It's drkatiehenry.com forward slash goals. I would love to have you. Also, there's a VIP option if you want to get a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can. Yay! Go do something that brings you joy. I am Dr. Katie Henry. Decide to live fueled by joy. Bye, guys.